Hey guys, today I'm going to read the book Hunger Games. Um, I'm going to read chapter 8, I think. Yeah, chapter 8. As I strike toward the elevator, I fling my bow to one side and my, and my quiver to the other. I brush past the gasping at boxes who guard the elevator and hit the number 12 button with, with my fist. The doors slide together and I zip upward. I actually may get back to my floor before the tears start running down my cheeks. I can hear the others calling me from the sitting room. But I fly down the hall into my room, bolt the door, and fling myself onto bed. Then I really begin to sob. Now I've done it. Now I've ruined everything. If I stood even a ghost of chance, it vanished when I sent that arrow flying to the game maker. What will they do to me now? Arrest me? Execute me? Cut my tongue and turn me into an ad, uh, ad box so I can I can wait on the future tributes of Panem? What I was thinking, shooting, what was I thinking, shooting the game maker? Of course I wasn't. I was shooting at the apple because I was so angry at being ignored. I wasn't trying to kill one of them. If I were, they'd be dead. Oh, what does it matter? It's not like I was gonna win the games anyway. Who cares what they did what they do to me? What really scares me is what they might do to my mother and Prim. Now my family might suffer now because of my impulsiveness. Will they take their vote will they take their few belongings or send my mother to prison and Prim community home or kill them? They wouldn't kill them, would they? Why not? Why do they care? I should have stayed and apologized, or laughed, like it was a big joke. Then maybe I would have found some lenity. Len but instead, I stalked out of the place in the most disrespectful manner possible. Hamish and Effie are knocking on my door. I shout for them to go away, and eventually they do. It takes at least an hour for me to cry myself out. Then I just lie, lie curled up in, my, in the bed stroking the silken sheet, watching the sun set over the artificial candy capital. At first, I expect the guards to come for me, but as time passes, it seems likely, less likely. I calm down. They still need a girl tribute from District 12, don't they? If the game makers want to punish me, they can do it in publicity. Wait until I'm in the arena and six star six psychs starving wild animals on me. You can bet they'll make sure I don't have a bow and arrow to defend myself. Before that, before that though, they'll give me a score to low no one in their right mind would sponsor me. That's what will happen tonight. Since the training isn't open to viewers, the game makers announce a score for each player. It gives the audience starting place for the betting that will continue throughout the game. The number, which is between 1 and 12, 1 being irre irredeemably bad and 12 being untrainably high signifies signifies the promise of tribute the mark is is not a guarantee for of which a person will win it's only a is indication indication of potential a of the potential a tribute showed training often because of the variables in the actual arena High-scoring tributes go down almost immediately, and a few years ago, the boy who won the games only retrieved a three, received a three. Still, the scores can help or hurt individual tributes of term, terms of sponsorship. I have been hoping my shooting skills might get me a six or seven, even if I'm not particularly powerful. Now I'm sure I'll have the lowest score of the 24. If no one sponsors me, my odds of staying alive decreases most up to almost zero. When Effie tr taps on the door to call me at dinner, I decide I may as well go. The scores will be televis televised tonight. It's not like I can hide what happened forever. I could go to the bathroom and wash my face, but it's still red and splotchy. Everyone waiting at the table, even Cinna and Porto Por Porcia, Portia, Portia. I wish the Silas hadn't shown up because because for the same reason. I don't like the idea of disappointing them. It's 
as if I thrown away all the good work they did on the opening ceremonies without a thought. I avoid looking at anyone as I take a tiny, tiny spoonfuls of fish soup. The saltiness reminds me of my tears. The adults begin some chit chat about the weather forecast. I let my eyes meet Peter's. He raises his eyebrow. A question. What happened? I just give my mind a small shake. Then, as they serve, they're serving the main course. I hear Hamish say, "Okay, enough small talk. Just how bad were you today?" Peter jumps in. I don't know. I don't know that it mattered. By the time I showed up, no one even bothered to look at me. They were singing some kind of drinking song, I think. So I threw around some heavy objects until they told me I could go. That makes me feel a bit better. It's not like Peter attacked the game makers, but at least he was pro provoked too. And you, sweetheart," said Hamish. Somehow, Hamish calling me sweetheart ticks me off enough that I'm a least I'm at least able to speak. I shot an arrow at the game makers. Everyone stops eating. You what? The horror in Effie's voice confirms my worst suspicions. I shoot an arrow at them, not exactly at them, in their direction. It's like Peter said. I was shooting and they were ignoring me, and I just, I just lost my head. So I shot an apple off of their stupid rose pig's mouth. I say defiantly, and what did they say? Said, and what did they say? Says Sinner carefully. Nothing, or I don't know. I walked out after that. I say, with without being dismissed, as gasped Effie. I dismissed myself. I said, I remember how I promised Prim that I really would try to win, and I feel like a ton of coal has dropped on me. Well, that's that, says Hamish. Then he butters a roll. Do you think they'll arrest me? I ask. Doubt it. Be a pain. To replace you at this stage," said Hamish. "What about my family?" I say. "Will they be? Pu will they punish them?" "I don't think so. Wouldn't make much sense. See, they'd have to reveal what happened in the training center for, for it to have a worthwhile effect to the on the population. People would need to know what you did. But since they, since it's a secret, so it'd be a waste of effort," said Hamish. More likely, they'll ha make your life hell in the arena. Well, they've already promised me to do that to any anyway," said Peter. Very true," said Hamish. And I realize impossible that the impossible has happened. They have actually cheered me up. Hamish picks up a pork chop with his finger, which makes Effie frown, and drunks in his wine. He rips off a hunk of meat and starts to chuckle. What were their faces like? I can feel the edges of my mouth tilting up, shocked, terrified. Ah,、oh, ridiculous! Some of them. A image pops to my mind. One man tripped backward into a bowl of punch. Hamish guffles and guffaws, and we all start laughing except Effie, although she is surprising. She's suppressing with a smile. Well, it serves them right. It's their job to pay attention to you, and you. And just because you come from District Twelve is not an, is no excuse to ignore you. Then their eyes start around as if someone said something totally outrageous. I'm sorry, but that's what I think," she says in no one particular, to no one particular. I'll get a very bad score. I say scores only matter if they're very good. No one pays attention to bad or medicaments. For all they know. You could be hiding your talents to get a low score on purpose. People use their strategy," said Portia. So that's it, and I hope you guys like that. Um, that was to page one o seven. There's still a couple more pages, and um, if you wanna know the couple more pages, then just um, go to my channel, and you'll find it. So thanks for watching. Love you. Hope you guys like it.